DataSync provides automated continuous replication of your enterprise data to any data store, enabling comprehensive views into your data and empowering deeper and more actionable insights. Change Data Capture Technologies allow C-Data Sync to identify and capture data that has changed in your enterprise data sources, enabling more real-time analytics and insights. C-Data Sync supports replication based on change data capture and change tracking for a variety of sources. In this video, we walk through enabling change data capture-based replication of SQL Server data into a Snowflake data warehouse but the principles can be applied to any replication job with C Data Sync. To begin, let's take a look at our data in our SQL Server database. Here you can see that we have some CRM data in the form of accounts. Now that we're clear on what data we'll be importing, we can configure our connections in C Data Sync. Log into C Data Sync and navigate to the Connections tab. Select SQL Server and enter the credentials for your SQL Server instance. After testing and saving our SQL Server connection, we need to connect to the destination Snowflake. Click Snowflake from the Connections tab and enter your Snowflake credentials. With our source and destination configured, we are ready to create our replication job. Click the Jobs tab and click Create Job. Name the job select the source and destination, and choose Change Data Capture as the replication type. Click Add Tasks and walk through the wizard to choose the SQL Server tables to replicate to Snowflake. When using the Change Data Capture replication type, C Data Sync will use SQL Server's built-in change tracking to perform incremental replications of SQL Server data. After an initial replication of the entire database, only those changes that occurred and were tracked since the last replication will be included in subsequent scheduled replications. To schedule a replication job, navigate to the Schedule tab under Job Settings, enable the scheduler, and set the replication interval. Now you have a job set up to replicate your SQL Server data into Snowflake, performing incremental replication based on SQL Server's built-in change tracking. This kind of change-based replication is available for several data sources in C Data Sync. To get started with C Data Sync, visit cdata.com sync and sign up for a free trial. Thanks for watching, and as always you can find more resources at cdata.com.